Hey everybody, welcome to the 2R Track Challenge. My name is Ben underscore Burns. Today we're going to be writing a song in two hours, or less, or more. Who knows anymore? It's a brave new world over here. Um, yeah, not really, uh, not really sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to hit start and we'll get going. Um, I was thinking about doing something that, again, is really, like, spacious. So, uh, yeah. I'm I'm kind of in that groove right now where I just kind of want to um, try to make stuff that's uh, really, really like uh, has a, a breadth of sound, and it's not necessarily like um, not really. Uh, man, words are hard, you know. Uh, it's it's not really dense. So I'm gonna try to uh, try to figure something else, something out. Again, I'm just. Like, something similar to this was bouncing around in my head today. And it's like, okay, well, let's see what it sounds like uh, on paper. That sounds okay. I think we can make it sound better, though. Um, I don't know if I'm willing to commit to this yet. Um, I tend to commit to the first thing I hear, and sometimes that's not always the best way, uh, way to make a song. Uh, but sometimes it's a good way to make a song. This is nice. I love Supermassive so much. It's just such a good, it's just such a good uh, piece of, piece of reverb slash delay. We could make that more interesting. Okay, let's let's make these notes correct. So the chords we're implying here I think there's there's a lot of different ways to take this. This third one here. Um, so we have kind of like this F to uh, inverted G or C. And then we're kind of going into, uh, I guess it would be a double, a C minor second inversion. So we have. I mean, it's not a, it's not a complicated chord progression, um, so it's basically F minor to C minor inversion, C minor inversion, F again. But it is kind of pleasant. So again, we're just gonna we're just gonna vibe on it. Um, and yeah, I, I think I think that's more what I want to go with right now is I just want to find the vibe, you know. Um, and 
whatever whatever form that might take uh i think that it's it's more important to just kind of figure out where we're going from there um This is much more of a pad than a lead, but I guess this is where we are today. How do chords work? Let's try that again. Um, so... Yeah. Yeah, I I kind of like this. I, I I still don't know like what kind of uh what kind of story we're telling here, but you know that's okay. And and to be clear, from last week, I don't want all of my songs to have lyrics. Like today, I'm not really vibing on the idea of singing. If like the inspiration comes and it works, that's awesome. But I don't know. Like today is just not the day for that. And, you know, that's okay. Yeah, that's way better. Um, it's going to heck me up a little bit being an F instead of C, but I guess that's the... That's the bed we're making here, isn't it? That's okay, though. Anyway, how are y'all doing today? Oops, that is this guy. I honestly, I really enjoy um, doing the vocal stuff. Um, however, I also feel like I need to take some vocal lessons, which I reached out to somebody. I, I talked to uh, a buddy of mine who's local, uh, who also do has like more contacts in the um, in kind of the music community in this area, and he recommended a uh, a vocal trainer. Um, and I reached out to her and she was like, I'm going to go on vacation tomorrow, but we'll talk in a couple days. <laughs> so when she gets back, then, um, then maybe I can set up some lessons and, uh, I I'm looking forward to that. I think that that, that will be a lot of fun, but in the meantime, I am just going to do what I do. And, you know, the songs that we made with the current vocal stylings that I have, it's, uh, You know, it'll be it'll be a signpost as to my progress. Hey, Pedro. Not not sure what that melody sounds like because uh, the raid sounds was happening instead. Hey, how is your stream? Thank you so much for the raid, as always.
remember to save. Hey, everybody. Remember to save. I actually really like that piano. That was really nice. Good job, me. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... Scrax man. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. I'm still trying to figure out the DNA for this song, so we'll get a little bit more piano for Scrax Man. Um, I think I need to start adding some drums to get more of a um, more of like a, a vibe to this song, because right now it's just. Right now it's just kind of some pads, uh, which is fine, but I think that it really needs a snare rim shot. Okay, let's, um, let's grab a kick. Because I think what we need is to... Wow. How does the alphabet work again? There it is. This one's fine. I need something a little bit more meaty. Um, but just kind of... Earlier this week, I was like, man, I should really do some more like minimal house music stuff. And I don't know if this is the right song for that because like rhythmically it's going to be you can go like that's an interesting rhythm actually it actually really kind of hexy up okay um Let's see what we can do with this. I was listening. I'm I'm listening to season thirteen right now because uh, I'm trying to push myself to actually get that mixed and mastered and released. Um, and the song uh, "Get Off My" or I think it's "Get Off My Planet" uh, has a really cool um, kick line to it, which I'm a big fan of also i can't believe that that song was like made a two years ago Ugh, i don't like any of these i don't want to go back to the old 808 stuff but there's a reason why i like the old 808 stuff because it's consistently good <laughs> Um, and then just kind of go like that, and that'll... So, obviously this is too loud, but, like, rhythmically it's, it's pretty compelling. Yeah, okay. Um... You wanted a rim shot. What do we got for rim shots? These are not rim shots, but I'll take them. Um, Oh, 
front one. groove though this this calls for like a melody that's not really a melody just kind of like a you know something that's really uh really kind of basic but it 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 reinforces the chord structure you know I really like this. Now, the greatest task, making a song out of it. <laughs> this is like, this is super pleasant. I like this a lot. Um, but how do we turn this into a song? That's the real problem. like rhythmically here I was just trying different things because um, we can we can do the same rhythm here but there's this kind of this weird offbeat that's going on and I want to make sure that I'm reinforcing that um, And then chord progression wise, we are um, in C minor here. So like okay th this is this is a little bit early cuz we're only 20 minutes into this but like where exactly are we going here So why did I turn this up That's a weird thing to do Bass coming through okay. Not really. Square 
tidal wave is just chomping through it too much. But maybe, maybe this is the time for me to be adventurous. Yeah, it definitely needs to ship, shift somewhere else because really we're sitting between two chords. We're sitting between an F minor and a C minor. So we're basically just going um, F minor. So it's like not the most harmonically complex song, but that's okay. Because there, it has a lot of it has a lot of uh, shared tones. This uh, this little cadence here, this it, it almost kind of feels like a proto emancipator type song, where you can just have this kind of loop that just grows and grows and grows and grows. Um, Perhaps the vocal melody, what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> uh, I'm thinking that we can... Um, listen, if, if we can come up with something that's truly compelling for vocals, I'm totally fine doing it because, like, really, like, this... Um, uh, like like it's uh, hello now I'm a voice actor in a Souls game. Too timely. I can't hear myself. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that, though. I, it's... it's Honestly, just interesting, maybe throwing some like spoken word or something in there uh, with all of that delay. I just want to throw this in here just so I don't forget. Why is it not playing anything now? Auto? All right, okay. Um, obviously that's loud and obnoxious and probably won't get kept but I just wanted to keep that idea in there just so I have it Yeah, this could definitely be a song that that starts real basic and like there's nothing stopping me from going in here and adding more complexity to this as it as it grows you know and just do this remember to save you know there's there's a lot of things we can do there um, I do feel I do I went a little hard with uh, with the bass here, so suck. 
Kuachi. I always feel like I'm saying that wrong. Oops, I need contact five. Um, I believe there's one in here. Maybe not. Oh, Shaku. That's why I can never remember it. Yeah. Oh, I can never remember either. <laughs> I know I have one called the Penny Flute, which I've used a couple times as well. Um, I think that is a sound iron thing. Yeah, Penny Whistle. I think I've used this one a couple times. Wow. Didn't really like that one, did you? Oh, that's because I tried to load something that wasn't an instrument. Um, uh, so there's a couple options there. Um... So yeah, the, the real the real challenge right now is breaking out of this four bar loop, um, because like where do we go from here? This is this is real pleasant. Um, yeah, no worries, Ro oh, oh, Orja. Sorry. I hope you're doing well. Hope your Rocket League games go okay. Playing at session mode strength right now. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool loop point, Ableton. Never thought of that one. What a cool creative decision you had there. Uh, oh, 40 bars? Wow. <laughs> Thanks. I, uh, I feel like we got into the groove for this one pretty quickly. I just want to make sure we stay in there, you know? Um, so what we have here is we can... See you later. Good luck. Let's smack the balls into the into the other thing. This is a very traditional Ben Burns intro where it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I do like this kick pattern though. I'm kind of thinking, and, and maybe this is ambitious, but this could be like the breakdown slash B section, and we should take these instruments and maybe make something a little bit, not more inspired, because I really like this, but I think that this is a good way to build up to another part of the song, 
rather than having this be the intro. And this, I know it's breaking new ground. I'm not starting at the start, but maybe, uh, maybe that's the way to go here. It's also a way to break out of this loop. Hey y'all, move over. What were the chords? <laughs> Not those. I got it wrong. Got it wrong twice in two different ways. So let's just take the one I know is right. Um, okay, so the second chord here can be a little bit more complex. Um, but I think maybe we got something here. Uh, we got a womp. I actually go like this. Whoa. Yeah, I, th I think this is, if nothing else, this is a new way for me to approach writing music, and I think that that's valuable in itself. Because then we can, we can build on like making a song here, and then we can really run at this buildup, and I think that that will, um, that'll be a little bit, I think this will be a little bit better as a B section because this works really well as like this like intense intensity buildup. But as far as like a main song, this is like something that I do a lot where I'm just like, well, I have a cool loop. I guess I'm just going to loop it for three minutes and then we're done. <laughs> so I kind of want to see if I can do some other stuff, you know. Yeah, and, and I... I mean, that's the whole point of why I want to do these streams is so I can, like, figure out good habits and maybe break out of some bad ones. Well, I mean, how about we just... Nope. I really like that. So I just want to do that. Let's see if that... There we go. Uh, no ideas yet. Actually, no, I wanted to start. Uh, boop. Okay, please stop with the countdowns and just play them. So Ableton forgot how to record again. So that's cool. 
Um, how did how did I fix that last week? Um, did I have to like hit off and auto again? Is that what it was? Oh no, I I duplicated the thing and then I just deleted the original and that fixed it. Ableton has this bug that they've never fixed. Okay, now it works. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's clean this up a little bit because I really do like this, but this is like some kind of weird shop uh, sex tuplet, which is not. I do like this being a triplet though. Ba 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 da ba. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons today. There we go. Okay, um, additionally to this, I do want to throw just a touch of an LFO on here, uh, just to give it, just to give it that wiggle jiggle. Well, that's, that's like the earthbound wiggle jiggle, which kind of would work too. See, I like this intro. I'm really glad that we did this. Um, now, can we make this more interesting without hacking it up? That's the real dilemma. Also, this bass. Yeah, so Yeah. Yeah, the the Epic has purchased Bandcamp. Which ultimately is probably a bad thing. But hello Jank. I, I'm remaining cautiously optimistic that nothing happens <laughs> and it just remains it just remains Bandcamp and it just does what it does but why would they buy it if they didn't want to in some way heck with it Like, there's there's a lot of discourse going on that I I don't know. Um, I think that really the best the best way to approach this is just with, you know, I'll hand I'll handle it the best I can as an artist, and that's the best I can do. Um, because there's no point in getting all up in a twist on something that you have very little control over. Like, what am I going to, I could remove all my stuff from Bandcamp. Like, what kind of message is that going to send? Like, I don't really make a lot of sales on Bandcamp anyway. So, like, who cares? They won't care about me. Yeah, exactly. Just write it out and see what happens. And if they do something truly shitty, then you can be like, okay, bye. But in the meantime, remember to save. But in the meantime, remember to save. Um, Yeah, it's like. It's the same thing, and I hate talking like this because it's like, 
kind of like not great, but it's like the same thing happens with Spotify. Spotify is doing some truly garbage things. And it's just like, well, I could remove my stuff from the platform, but it's not like people are maintaining their Spotify subscription to listen to my music. Um, and I mean, if you are, bless you, but <laughs> I, I highly doubt it. And it's like, well, I might as well get my like 40 bucks every three months from them. And maybe that means that I'm complicit within the system. Um, but, you know, I got to eat too. And it sucks. I can recommend people go to a different platform. I heard Tidal's all right, but Tidal's also expensive. Um, oh, oh, yeah, Minimal House Lyrics. That's a good one. Um, Yeah, Jank. I, I think that that's really the best mindset we can have at this point where it's just like oh, so much of this stuff is out of our hands, like out of our control. And despite how much I would love to have like a say in any of this stuff, it's like, what am I going to do? Out lobby Spotify? <laughs> no. Um, the thing that concerned me about the whole uh, Epic thing is that Tencent owns Epic. And Tencent also has a reasonably significant stake in recording artists and Spotify. So there's like this interesting tangle there that makes me worry that Bandcamp was somehow, somehow got into their sites and they wanted to like squelch it. But you know what, what happens then is a new Bandcamp pops up. Um, and then things just go on as they were like, what are you going to do? Like if people want something, yes toxic um yeah i i kind of feel the same way where i think getting my own content management system on my own website so i manage all of it is probably the way to go um seeing that seo is really the way that a lot of uh uh links come in So I don't know, like I, I would love for everything to not be terrible, but that's not the world we live in right now. Maybe that's the name of the song. I'd like for everything to not be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's just so fatalistic. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of being fatalistic about literally everything. We've been doing that for two and a half years now. Um, like, can we just enjoy stuff again? Maybe that's the name of this song. Can we just enjoy stuff again? What do you guys think of that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's too... Forgot the bass. I was like, why is that looping weird? <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to call it that, though. Can we just enjoy stuff again? With a question mark.
Oh, Jink, I don't know if you heard the second half of this song that I, I started, but let's listen to that real quick. Because what I was thinking is we started this and I really like this. And then I was like, let's make an A section that leads into this B section. So I don't know if it'll fit now, but I also like this a lot too. So. Oops, it's not February anymore. I can't do question marks and file names. Yeah, Jake, and that's the thing, like, finding that way to mentally dissociate yourself. So I really, I really like this. Um, so basically what I want to do is I want to make this loop and I want to make this good. And then we can find a way to bridge this gap. Um, yeah, I'll remember. I'm sure I'll remember. How could I forget something like that? Narrator, he totally forgot two hours later. Um, So we've got a, a pleasant little two hours later. Maybe we can get like a nice chill drum to go over this. Oh cool, splice, thanks. I love putting my uh, credentials in on stream. Let's see if I remember what my password is. <laughs> nope. Nope. Do I get to reset my password again? password this is why you should never let me log out of anything i don't know why it logs you out just in general reset my password please new password if this says oh you've already used this one i'm gonna lose my mind okay I have reset my password. Yay! We did it, guys. We logged into Splice. I hope it never locks me logs me out again, because I will definitely not remember that. <laughs> yeah. I like this pad a lot. This is all the crap that I've bought recently that I never really used. Drum loop. I don't want rare samples. So this is what you call drum loops, huh? There we go. So, I want to see, I want to see new ones. I don't want ones I've already used. I really wish Splice didn't like suck. Actually, that's pretty good.
put it in the wrong spot, but that's on me. That's not Splice's fault. Okay, so we'll have we'll have this kind of an intro here, because I really do like this, but I, I want to evolve beyond this. Um, man, I remember Bioshock. That game was decent. Like, for some reason, it didn't really vibe with me as much as it did with a lot of other people. But I really, I really did think that it was a good game. Okay, so let's get rid of all the fancy stuff here. Hacking minigame. Oh yeah, I love Pipe Dream. What are you talking about? Pipe Dream's the best game. I could play Pipe Dream all day. 24 hour Pipe Dream stream. Again, we've we've kind of uh, cornered ourselves into the same loop where it's just like, man, this sounds really good. How are we going to progress this? Hey, Yahusko, how are you? Kind of like that the songs like have this like suspended note and then just like snaps to the end of it. Um, yeah, okay. 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 So, um, we are throwing a lot of loops and stuff in here. And, uh, as I always say, we'll come back and fix it later. We never do, but you know, it'll make me feel good to say that. So I think what we can do is, remember uh, to save. first off, remember to save. Um, after that,
so that doesn't really mesh super well. But I think we can. I think we still have a good shot at um, at having a good transition here. Because again, we're moving from this to this. So what we can do is this can be just like an extended intro and then this will just kind of fade out and this can come in and we can we can figure out some kind of connective tissue here. Um, and it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Tired but not awful. That is uh, that is a very accurate mood. Um, so today was my first day back into the office um, after two years, and it wasn't bad. But it was one of those things where I stressed about for literally a week, being like, "Oh man, I have to go back in the office. I have to wear a mask. I have to talk to people. I have to be like stand next to strangers." Because I work in a big open office environment, so it's like uh, I have my team members, but, you know, there's like 50 other people in the same room. So, like, <laughs> and it was fine. It was one of those things where it's just like, you know, you stress about it for so long, and then you're just like, oh, wait, no, this is just normal, and everybody else doesn't really want to be here anyway. <laughs> somehow older well congratulations on an early birthday i think you're doing great just in general you know i think you're doing great and you can't convince me otherwise so help me no um i think i, I think that you know birthdays birthdays can be scary but you know it's fine. It's all fine. Oh, please. Um, delay doesn't work here. I was trying to add some like, like a little bit more excitement to this, but that's not working. Um, I, I agree. 30, 30 is a weird, I really liked my thirties. I've, I've talked about this before. I don't really feel like my life started until I was like 32. Um, and I'm turning 40 in 40 days or so, or 41. I'm already 40. I'm so old. I forgot my age. Um, so yeah, it'll be fine. There are definitely times where I feel old. Yeah, you're never gonna catch up to me, sucker.
This is not the right chord. So my thought is we can kind of ramp up the intensity here and start transitioning over. So we can, um, we have an intro. Oh God, we've gone an hour into this already. I've kind of faffed around a little bit, which is fine. Like there's nothing wrong with that, but like now I really want to, um, to work on like transitioning between these two. And I, initially I thought I'd come back to this and maybe we will like at the very end of the song, but, um, Hey, congratulations. By this month, do you mean February? <laughs> All my friends are so old. Here, how about this? All my friends are so old. Ah, oh, dang it, wrong thing. I wanted to make fun of everybody. All my friends are so old. There, perfect. All my friends are so old. sad. <laughs> So now we can work on maybe bringing in some other stuff um, because like, I really want to change the chord progression to this. So I think what we do is we've introduced some connective tissue here. We've got this thing, which we can fade out. Uh, we've got the pads, which we can fade out. Um, and I think what we want to do is, um, essentially what we're doing is, um, I want to use the word splice because that's literally what we're doing. Um, like splicing a tree onto uh, a root, um, because we're taking elements that are familiar in both sides, but then we'll fade them out and then we'll have this maybe kind of connect between the two. And when we, when we fade the stuff back in, the listener will be like, Oh, he had it planned all along. Um, and then I'll look like a real smart guy and maybe we'll have a good song, but who cares? Cause I look smart. Um, <laughs> isn't that how, isn't that how music works? Thank you. 
Excuse me. Minnesota root. You're making fun of my accent. <laughs> well, that's the that's the best I can hope for, I guess. Okay, so I think we need to add a couple more, uh, a couple more things here to bridge this gap. Um, I'm thinking uh, some ride symbols, which are always a plus. I was maybe thinking brushed symbols, but I don't know if that's really the right call. These are so quiet. Like, I kind of wish that I had made these louder, but... I also want to leave that up to the, you know, leave that up to the, um, the artist. Let's see, let's get, let's get a big chonker. Let's also introduce the idea of like cutting these off. Um. Maybe we should have been doing that the whole time. Um, so we've been making progress, uh, albeit a little bit slowly, but I think, I think we're getting there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really just building, building where we want to go with this. Um, be the change you want to see in the world and all that. There we go. I also kind of liked that this was muffled before. Hey, Husk, thank you so much for that. You made the world a very slightly better place. You're stuck here. So I think we need to start working on a, like a transition of sorts. Um, remember to save. Gosh, guys, remember to save. Also, these like bass notes are just wrong. <laughs> these should be like F, right? Yeah, F, uh, G sharp, and D sharp. Thank you. 
Did I say the wrong thing? Your Jake failed. Sounds like you need a new friend. So it, it's it's we're kind of doing double duty here. We're we're trying to um, it's a trucker term. You might not know it. I've heard of the term, but I guess I don't. Uh, I guess I don't know it offhand. Those are I am, those I am familiar with. I don't think I'm going to use this flute. I think I'm going to use the other one. Um, wrong octave. doesn't sound right either um whoa <laughs> hey ableton i know you might not you might not like the song but you know work with me here um no see that doesn't work here either um i think what we can do is we can start like sitting on like a pedal chord or something. Yeah, that's better. Cause I still really need this pad for like grounding the song. Cause it's very, very like it's floaty otherwise. And the song has been very grounded up until this point. So I think what we can do is we can take this and we can kind of ground it with this and then we can introduce this chord progression as we move forward. if we need this bass thing in here though. We're getting there. Because we can use this as the bass. And 
kind of just goes into a different vibe, which I which I'm very pleased with. Hats are a bit loud though, eh? Okay. Um let's let's roll it back. I, I still think that there's like some some good like changes we could make here. Um But I really wanted to try this. Cause I like both of these. back, huh? Okay. Good luck, Toxic. getting there this is this is kind of a, a, a circuitous route to get where I want to go but sorry route circuitous route is that better I feel like we do need more stuff, but that's okay. We'll get there. on the pedal so much for this what is this um yeah this needs to get cut off here unnecessary unnecessary un what <laughs> there we go um
Okay, um, I don't want to overburden this song with a bunch of uh, things. And I feel like I'm kind of getting in that direction. But I also feel like it needs... It just needs, like, stuff. So I'm trying to be as judicious, judicious as possible. Um, can I just change, like, the volume right in here? Because that would, that would make my life really, really nice and easy. Okay, now let's do it at the right part of the song. Um... Yeah. It's a little loud. Again, what what I'm what I'm intending on doing here is is building a bridge between these two sections and finding ways to connect them. Oh, that's no. You know, sometimes you try, and it's just not what you want. <laughs> We also, like, the the pads stop here, so we need something else to kind of replace them. It doesn't have to be permanent, but it has to be something. So I'm thinking, like, a really muted crash. We can look into this, um... Something like that, maybe. Throw some... Throw some reverb on it. Should I just be the binging of Babish, uh, binging with Babish of music production and just pronounce everything wrong? Like reverb. So what I want to do now is now that we've established this part of the song, we can just let it ride for a little bit and maybe people can just enjoy the vibe. You know, sometimes you just got to enjoy the vibe, guys. Be some kind of weird vibe enjoyer. is starting to not enjoy this song, huh? Uh, I apologize for the scratchiness. At some point, I'll be able to afford a new computer, but until video cards don't cost as much as my house, um...
That's hyperbole. I'm sure I could afford a video card if I did the research for it. I just have other things on my mind right now, you know? Yeah, that's way better than this. Um... No velocity sensitivity on this instrument, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, randomized velocity. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Why are you doing me like this? Toxic mentioned like mega brass forever ago or some kind of brass and I want to give that a try because we can do little punches of, of brass sound in there and I think that'll be really uh, really effective I always forget if it's sound iron mega brass or if it's just mega brass and it's just mega brass I believe it's a sound iron product Because I got it free from Sound Iron when I spent more than $50 on their website. Is it Sound Iron? Now I don't know. Oh, my world is all upside down. Excuse you. Um... Yeah, but this is going to be like real quiet, just like real subtle, like. Attack, please. There we go. Almost kind of sounds like strings, too, which I'm okay with. for
looking for like something fairly energetic actually. That's really lovely. How has this never been suggested to me before? I like that a lot. Stop playing though, thank you. Um, Nah, I'd rather lean into... I like that loop, but it's, it doesn't fit here. Um, I'd rather lean into what we have. Um, but again, I'm kind of... I'm falling into that same trap where it's like, I don't really know where this song's going. Um, and that's, that's a little rough. still need some of this maybe just the the juicy bass parts um okay i am editing just this one thing and not all of them uh which has been a problem of mine in the past Yeah, we're, we're like diving into something new, and I need to figure out what exactly that is. Because right now we're just kind of floundering. So the original chords were... Um, Something like that.
That might be interesting, actually. Um, it's kind of an iteration on that, um, where instead of going we're starting to scale upwards, so it's Aside from, you know, <laughs> this little mess. Um, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm kind of... I feel like it needs a new direction. I also don't think that this is the right instrument for this. Um, it's just too... It just doesn't fit. Um, which is too bad. Maybe it works as kind of a transition here, but maybe nothing beyond that. So I think we need a, a few more drum layers, actually. Um, I don't know. I This is really compelling, and I like it a lot, but it's also a bit of a struggle to find, like, where exactly we're going with it, you know? So. And we'll get there. I have no doubt that we'll get there. But, um... I also have to go in here and fix this because it's always wrong. Remember to save. Everybody remember to save. Okay. I like that. Okay, so we need another hi-hat here. Um, and it's just really building layers, I guess.
think not. Ableton, what is this garbage? <laughs> Hello, Jank. Let's listen to the whole thing, actually. I um, feel like I've lost my way a little bit on this, and I and I'd like to, I'd like to try to wrap it up in 17 minutes with the timer. But again, I'm kind of in a brave new world where it's like I'd rather have the song be done than finish it early. But I think we're mostly there. intro I, I really like how this turned out as something that we wanted to kind of make as a throwaway i almost like this more than the second part so makes me happy that we were able to make like two pretty solid loops and did a decent job meshing them together that we can kind of put in the middle here. <laughs> I will 100% not use this. But Madame Barry's not here to be embarrassed, so... redemption for a lot <laughs> where it forces her to say <laughs> and it's so bad this makes me so uncomfortable oh my god you forced me to say oh 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 so many woos is anybody gonna make an oh oh strimp stwimp yeah stwimp is anybody gonna make an uwu swim? Is this a long enough uwu for three uwus? Three whole uwu redeems? I've said uwu so many times now. I love how it sounds like she's crying at the end. I've said uwu so many times now. <laughs> I'm not using that. But it's very funny. 
It was a long oo too. Oh no, you did it. Oh no, Ben, you forced me to say oo <laughs> No. Um... What was this? I think, I think there was like a meeting or something going on and I was like, oh, this is super boring. I bet you heard of IQ and probably EQ. Well, CQ is your motivation to learn. Yeah, there we go. you have with me to investigate, to discover, and challenge yourself and others. But it truly takes desire. Honestly, that's not bad. It takes passion. You must personally be interested to succeed. Like... As 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 far as um, generic voice stuff to make things at least a little bit more interesting sonically, that's not bad. Fifty fifty on that. And then there's this. Wait a minute. This is my world. <laughs> Just some <laughs> Oh memes. Honestly, I might keep this. I don't know. I'll, I'll let it sit there for a little bit and we'll come back to it. But I think it's a good way to kind of bridge this silent space with something that's marginally inspirational. Okay, let's try to finish this song. Oh, those claps are not as... They're a little too crunchy. Like this is building up into like something pretty large um so what i'm gonna do is i think we'll have kind of this build up here and then um do like 16 bars of a solo or something and then we'll uh we'll cap it off I'm uh, I'm also less than enthused about that uh, the clap. I kind of want to get a better one. <laughs> I mean that's that's the that's the classic, um, and maybe we shouldn't mess with the classic and just go with that. Clap classic, it's back. Sorry, that was neither interesting nor funny. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so what we're going to do <clears throat> bring this in here. And we have to we have to get some kind of new instrument like Yeah. We 
could grab more random shit off the walls and start banging on it. That should work though. It's getting there. So I'm thinking that we can kind of like throw it back. Kind of just like throw it back to where it was. No. Okay, so you watch Madam Barry's stream, right? You could redeem that. And then you could record it and send it to me. <laughs> Please return your seat to the locked and upright position. Okay, so I, I kind of like that it just kind of snaps back to this too. This this kind of is indicative of the whole song where it just kind of does a thing and then it's like, nah. And then it just goes to something else. So, um...
damn Dominici. How are you doing? That is not the piano. Hey, we've got two minutes left to finish this song. And I appreciate your uh, follow so much. You get a little piano. so much for the follow i really appreciate it i gotta jam out a solo here um shabow let's try that again just landed here and loving the vibe so i'm happy to hear that I don't know if I want to do that kind of a bananas ending. Um, I, I, I like the idea of just like leaving it on a weird, like chunky note, like dis dissonant like that. Um, oop, I do not want to record. So I think we're done. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of the delay at the end here. We'll, we'll listen to the alarm sound because it's so pleasant. Um, but yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we snapped it off right at the end. So we we have this like melodica thing here. Oh wait, no oh, alarm sound first. Alarm, boop, alarm, beep, beep, alarm. Alarm. Okay. Alarm. Okay. Now we're good. We have, we, we got to listen to that. Um, so I'm going to listen to the end bit here and then we'll listen to the whole thing, um, and clean it up a little bit and then we should be good. wild with the grace notes and stuff but I'm kind of okay with that I'm really trying to get more comfortable doing stuff like this <laughs> I don't think I could live with myself if I have that be the ending <laughs> although it is kind of funny <laughs> If this was just quieter, it wouldn't be as like obnoxious. I, I really like the idea of doing that just because it's so dumb. Yeah, that's actually pretty fun. 
I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, and you can't stop me. I'm the master of my own destiny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like it a lot. Um, is there a delay on this that's, like, hecking things up a little bit? Because I feel like I'm here on, like, an after. No, I guess not. Okay, well, let's listen to the whole song. I'll save it first. Remember to save, everybody. Um, and we'll do a really light mix and master on this as we go, but, you know, it's good enough for now. It's already pretty loud, eh? This is so chill. Kick is a little obnoxious though. Let's tame that a bit. I have been, aside from the day being kind of wonky, I think my mood drastically affects the type of music I make shocking nobody but this has just been fun like i feel like i've been very loose with it and i think i just need to be stop being such a sweaty tryhard when it comes to making music you know I've got a lot of things on my mind and I think stop like not being so why so serious on like making things is, is one thing that I need to just start letting go I don't know if we're going to keep this that's really I don't think that fits let's listen to it without I, I think I'd rather like have the lull in the song um, I've been listening to season 13 again because like I mentioned I'm working on getting that ready for release and there's a lot of that in there where I'm just like I need to add some random like spoken word to fill in a gap and it's like I don't really want to fall back into that habit
I'm thinking that we need to, we have this ascending right here and I think we need, there we go. Never said I won't stop, continue editing it. It's, it's a very abrupt change, so I want to make sure that this is still good. Whoop. Get real far to save. Whoop. Hey, everybody, remember to save. Way too, way too bassy. Can't hear it. As much as I like having that like complete silence, I don't think we can do a fake out ending. Pedal issues, huh? Yeah, that's a fun ending. Oops, no, I need to listen to the end for that so I know that this is the actual end of the song. Yeah, we're good. Okay, yeah, so this song was entitled, Can We Just Enjoy Stuff Again? Um, which is a hell of a mood. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, guys, thanks. Let me try that again. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Um, this was a, a really fun track and I'm glad that, um, I was able to kind of get into the groove of this because man, I was worried about today <laughs> for a lot of different reasons. Um, but this, uh, this one really came out cool and, uh, yeah, I have you guys to thank for that, for keeping me, keeping me motivated and occupied and just kind of storming through it. It means a lot to me. So, um, I'm going to get going and, uh, get this ready for release. But again, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I genuinely do appreciate it. Um, and that goes for the YouTube's people too. Like, uh, I don't always say thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, but you know, a handful of people actually do. And that, that means a lot to me. So, uh, that's all I've got for today. But again, 
I, uh, I hopefully I'll be in a better mood and start doing weekend streams again. I just have not had the energy to do that. Um, but if this is any indication, maybe I'll have some, uh, actual motivation to do actual things again and we can get on with our flipping lives. Yeah. And that's the thing. There's no shame in taking rest time and that's what I've been doing. But you know, I, I, I like streaming. I have a lot of fun doing it, but I also sit there and be like, man, I don't think I'd be very like entertaining today. <laughs> I'm just in a bad mood or I have a headache or whatever. But, you know, we'll see what the weekend brings. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get going. Um, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. And um, I will talk to you later. Where's my button? There's my button. Bye. And then we have the, the after dark stream. That's just the after, uh, it's the after party stream. Not after dark. That's a different thing. That's a different thing that is not within the terms of uh, Twitch TOS. Um, but yeah, this has uh, this has been a lot of fun, and I'm uh, I'm glad that I was able to kind of crank this out today. Um, like I said, I was worried because today was my first day back in the office. I've been stressed about a lot of other stuff, and like I got home today and I was just so wiped out. And uh, we did it. We made something that was like genuinely cool. Maybe it because it maybe it was because it wasn't in C minor. <sighs> Heaven forbid. I won't forsake my my C minor. I can't. It's in my blood. Okay, I am gonna get going though. Again, thanks so much. Hope you have a fantastic evening. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>